The Inaugural Kingswood Prologue, 1895, originally recited by E. G. Jonkless. Dear friends, for deem you such perhaps we may, who've come to grace our first prize-giving day, who have met to share our well-deserved joys, the guardians, friends, and parents of our boys. Dear friends, we bid you welcome, though we fain had welcomed you within our own domain, our own school hall, with flags and banners gay, and decorations suited to the day. Here you should see a garland, and meet next a Latin motto or an English text. Panels should greet you there, all lettered o'er with names of benefactors, score on score or honoured names of many a loyal son who in the world has a noble place won. Distinctions, classes, medals, scholarships, records of cramming to the fingertips. There too, perhaps, the curious eye may light on shapeless huge initials. Oh, sad sight, deep carved on bench or desk, of well-known names, whose merits all the talking world proclaims. Our future doctors, lawyers, ministers, authors, wits, legislative counsellors, and heroes too, in spite of scoffs and jeers, for have we not our champs and volunteers? There on the porch, in letters two feet high, the glad word, welcome, first should catch your eye, while the gay gardens stretching far and wide presents a fair enchanting view outside. Flowers bright and rare, music on every hand, of birds and fountains, and our own brass band. But let me check my fancy, apt to stray in many a pleasant but forbidden way. Whatever the years may hold of good or ill, we'll meet with the courage and resolved will. Triumph and failure both may blended lie in that dim future veiled from human eye. May doubts and fears and cares keep far away, nor mar this happy distribution day. Nay, lest the present hour should lose its due, the captive past shall now pass in review. Yet, if today no wondrous tale is told, remember, friends, we are but four years old. We have not yet what still we value most, what all the colleges and schools can boast. No proud traditions of giant race, such as the favoured royalist loves to trace. No genial fellowship, no trophies won, the envied boast of pious Thomia's son. Nor can we hope to win bright laurels here, for Candian Trinity has yet no peer. No peer, no rival, may she ever stand, the shining beacon of our mountain land, to warn, to comfort, and to guide our youth in arts, in science, and in Christian truth. And now, we ask your patience. Be most kind, as we some entertainment for you to find. Our songs are simple, recitations tame, our prices few, our prologue full of blame. Feebly performed, the part assigned to each, Yet all redeemed by what? Our chairman's speech. <laughs>